Hello, in this tutorial we'll be creating our own text turn based combat game using C Sharp. In this program, the enemy and the player will take turns to attack each other, and the last fighter standing will be the winner. First of all, let's create some integers representing the player's and the enemy's health. So let's create an integer called player HP and set it to 40, and then let's create another integer called enemy HP and then set that to 20. Next, let's create some more integers representing the player's and the enemy's attack power. So let's create an integer called player attack and set it to 5. And then let's create another integer called enemy attack and set it to 7. Now, let's create a while loop which will keep on looping until either the player or the enemy is dead. So while player HP is greater than 0 and enemy HP is greater than 0, then within this while loop, let's start off by creating the code for the player's turn. So first of all, let's print a message saying player turn. And then let's print out enter A to attack or H to heal. We will now need to retrieve what letter the player has typed in. So let's create a string called choice and set it to console.readLine then if the player has entered A so if choice equals A then we want the player to attack so to do this let's first of all get the enemy's HP and then subtract that from the player's attack power and then let's print a message saying player attacks enemy and deals plus player attack plus damage. Note that enemy HP minus equals player attack is simply the same as enemy HP equals enemy HP minus player attack. Now let's handle the player's healing. For this we'll need to come back to the top of our program and create another integer called heal amount. Let's set it to 5 for now. For this example, we'll be using a single shared healing value for both the player and the enemy. If you wish, feel free to split it into player heal amount and enemy heal amount. Now, if the user hasn't entered A, else, then let's get the player's HP plus equals heal amount. And then let's also display a message saying player restores heal amount plus health points. And that's all the code for the players turned out with. So now when we test our game, it will ask us if we want to attack or heal. So let's enter A. And it says the player attacks enemy and deals five damage. And then if we enter H, it says we restore five health points. So great, that is all of the code for the players turned out with. Next, let's focus on the enemy. So first of all, let's create an if statement, which will check that the enemy is alive firstly. And if they are, then let's print a message saying it's the enemy's turn. Next, the enemy should randomly choose whether to attack or heal. So to do this, we want to generate a random number between 0 and 1. So let's go back to the top of our program and create a random called random and set it to a new random. Then back in our while loop, let's generate a random number for our enemy. So let's type int enemy choice equals random dot next zero two. As the maximum value is exclusive, the highest number generated will be one and the lowest number generated will be zero. So if the number zero is generated, Then let's get the player's HP and subtract that from the enemy's attack power. And then let's also print a message saying enemy attacks and deals enemy attack plus damage. And then else, meaning one was generated, let's take the enemy's HP and plus on the heal amount. Finally, let's display a message 
saying the enemy has healed. And that's all the code for the enemy turn finished. Now if we test our program, so let's enter A for a player to attack. So it says player attacks and then it says the enemy attacks and deals us 7 damage and let's try healing for the player this time. So it says we heal and then the enemy randomly decides to heal this turn too. Finally, we need to let the player keep track of their own and the enemy's health. So to do this, after our player turn message, let's create another console.write line saying player hp is plus player hp and then enemy hp is and then plus enemy hp let's then copy this line and paste it under the enemy turn as well finally after our game and outside of the while loop we'll need to determine whether the player has won the game or not to do this, let's use an if statement that checks whether the player is still alive. So if player HP is greater than zero, then let's display a message saying, congratulations, you have won. And else, meaning that the player is not alive, then let's display a message saying, you lose. And with that, our game is now finished. So when we test it, so first of all, we see the player and enemy's HP being printed out. Let's try attacking this time. So it says we attack and deal five damage. Then enemy decides to heal. This time, let's try attacking again. So we attack and deal five damage. And as we can see, the enemy's HP has gone down. And this time, the enemy decides to attack us. And our HP goes down. And finally, let's try attacking again. So it says we attack the enemy, deal 5 damage, and then since the enemy has died and the player is still alive, it says congratulations, you have won. And with that, we now have our very own fully working turn-based combat console game. Feel free to experiment with this program and add any more features that you wish. If you prefer to see a recent version, then the link for the blog post will be in the description. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial, and I'll see you in the next.